thing we need to do is use the setup menu, which allows us the customization of the adjustable controller settings. So the way we get into that is to press the up, down, and the button, or, or the up and uh, down button together. It'll come up mode. We press the top button. We see filtration. Press OK, and that will determine how many hours we want to filter per day. Our suggestion is between four and six hours, but it's uh, purely up to you. If you wish to have it lower, you can have it lower. I'm going to set it at four hours. So we press OK once that's been set, and there it is. If we wish to go another, again into another mode section after the filtration, it's a, the filter cycle. And the filter cycles is, defines how often the filtration cycle occurs. So we hit OK. So if we want the filter cycle as part of the four hours to come on every four hours, we can do that or we can have it coming on every three hours or two hours. In other words, you may not want to have it on going flat out you know, every 10 minutes, every hour, every half hour, you may want every two hours to, to actually do that. So we'll set that for two hours. So it's at this point in time, four hours, every two hours, it will, it will mix the four hours over every two hour section. So you have four hours filtration for the day, but it, it will be every two hours, it will assess how often it has to come on. So to get into our mode or operating modes, we press the down button and the up button together. We then press OK on the mode. And we see we're talking about operating modes which affect demand, heating and filtration behaviour. So this is quite normal. If we press it there, sorry. Once up, economy. Now economy means that heating only during filtration. So in other words, there's no heat demand. And if we have an away mode, then when we're away, it will be the heater disabled and filtration reduced to one hour per day. But we want to go back to normal, and that's how we're normally going to run the, the unit. And the next part will be sleep timers. So we get the down button, the up button, we press them simultaneously. Up will come the mode, filtration for the cycle, which we've done. We go now to snooze. Now snooze is designed to actually go on when you don't want the spa to actually go on during the night. So in other words, it will put the spa to sleep or snooze it. So we'll OK that. Uh, per day this will be. That's OK. OK. And this is when it's going to begin. At 22 hours, that's 10, a, uh, 10 p.m. of a night. That's OK. I'm happy for that to go on. In other words, at 10 o'clock, if everything's off, the whole spa will shut down. 2200 and the end of that particular one will be 23 hours where we're going to make it seven o'clock in the morning okay and that's when it then goes into its filtration cycle and it starts assessing things after it's had a snooze so if you have a smart meter fitted to your house we want to take advantage of that with our power saving mode now the power saving mode is going to tell your controller when we're not going to run the spa. So let's get into that, go into the power saving and we're going to make sure that there's going to be a period of time that your controller is not on at all. So this is how the power saving works. So we press the up and down button again, we come to mode, we press the up button and we're in the power saving. Press the OK, it will say it's off. So we want to put it on. So we're going to go to the high, which means that your pump and filter and your heater are all going to be turned off. So that we press um, high again. We begin the time it's going to start at 1400. We want to start that at 7 o'clock in the morning. So let's take it down. So at 7 o'clock in the morning, we're saying, OK, it's going to, the power saving mode is going to come in. We go OK. We hit that again, OK. And we want to end that at 11 o'clock at night. So this is when the peak times are. So we're going to have the unit running in between that, using the power saving mode and having it so we're off peak times when the unit's running. So we press the OK button, press the OK button again, and that is now set. Now that we've set the power saving mode, we need to disable the snooze mode. This is done simply by pressing the up and down button and we, we go to the snooze section. We press OK. We see it's the first snooze mode. 
we also press that OK. When we come to one day, we press that down and we find two dots. That has now disabled the snooze section. With this system, we have an auto sanitise system built into the unit. It will go once a day for 10 minutes. It is designed to purge the pipework in the spa. If you need to change it, it is set for 9 a.m. every day. If you wish to change that, we press the up and down button again. We press the mode button up to water clean. We press OK. And as we can see, it's at this point in time, it's set at 1300. I can bring it back down to 9 a.m. in the morning. Press OK, press it OK again, and that's set. OK, the next part of the, uh, the, the touchpad will be a default display mode, and we use that to adjust the default display mode shown on the keypad. At the moment, we've got the uh, water temperature. Uh, we can have it at set temperature, or we can have it at clock. So let's just do that. So up and down button together again. This is the art of it. Goes to mode up button and we're going to get to DDIS okay so that's the water temperature I can go set temperature let's go okay and have a look that's a set temperature 39.2 degrees so let's just try it with the the time if you wish to have the time again mode you always have to do that scroll through okay set temperature time okay there's your time. So whatever you wish to display, you've got three options. So if I want to take it back to our, uh, our temperature, our display temperature, again, press the up and down button together, it comes up mode, and we're going to go through D, D, I, S, OK on that. Water temperature, if I'm happy with that, that's where it'll be. So I'll press OK. There it is set, 37.6 degrees, that's what it is at the moment. Below that is the time and the set temperature is below that as well, so we've just set that up. Now this uh, next part of the, uh, the control touchpad is our load timeouts. All accessory loads, pumps and or blower, automatically turn off as a default of 15 minutes after they've been elapsed and they've been rolling. Now, if that's not enough for you as far as that's concerned, uh, you can up the ante to that anything from 10 minutes through to 60. Now the light switches will always switch off 15 minutes after the settings. So let's adjust that uh, and see what we've got. So we have the up and down button again, press them together, we go mode, filter through that, and there's our timeout. So okay, 30 minutes. We can have that, pressing the, the up button, right up to 60 minutes. So in other words, if you're sitting in the spa and you're just enjoying the spa as you do, the pump goes off after 60 minutes, you'll know why. This is the reason. Okay, so that's, that's quite important as far as that's concerned. The lights will go off 15 minutes later. That's in case you get out of the spa and you forget to turn everything off. So if we wish to uh, put your keypad on full key lock, and the reason we're going to put it on full key lock might be because uh, you're going away and you don't want anyone affecting the, uh, the spa or touching the spa, such as the, the kids or um, even friends, etc. So we're going to show you how to actually put a full key lock on, which will mean nothing will operate. So on full key lock, we're going to press the up and down button together. So it's this one and this one, and we're also going to press pump A. So let's do that all in conjunction. And up will come lock, and there'll be a small symbol on the left-hand side, which you would have seen briefly. So I'll, I'll do that again. Up and down button. You'll see a symbol on the left-hand side. It's now locked. That's probably unlocked. Now it's locked, there we go. So that's on lock, so I can't operate anything within this here. So nothing will go. If I wish to release that, it is up and down button, so up and down button and pump A all together to unlock. Now the symbol's gone and we are operating here. So that's no issue there. So that's full lock. So another part of the locking sequence is the partial key lock. 
which you would use in a situation where you don't want to touch any of the mode settings, but you still want to use the uh, the actual buttons, such as uh, if you're going to have a party, etc. So again, we're going to push the up and down buttons and, par and pump B this time, okay? So we'll just do that. Now, pump B, on it comes, and there we got the symbol right there. So that's now partially locked. So I can operate your pumps here, but I can't operate any of the mode settings, all right? So if I want to take that off, obviously we're going to press these two together, pump B, off she goes, and then we're away again. Wow. 